A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Brian D0313. Dead Zergling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish3176. You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. I'm back with some more Dungeons of Dreadmore. I've unloaded some stuff. I have condensed my items, and I've taken a look at possible wands for the future, and it looks like I am, in fact, going to need more wand crafting skill before I can make that anywhere close to a reality. But fortunately, I can get more. If I really, really want it. And that might be a way to go next. But, again, haven't decided. Got a lot of options. And I did really kind of want to uh, finish out the Rogue Scientist thing for this Death Ray. And also more wand skill, so... Right. It's been a couple weeks since I've played, so I had slightly forgotten some of the decisions that I had made then. But I think we're back on track now. All I gotta do is make sure I don't run out of robots. More easily said than done in these harsh robot hating times. But if you took, if you went through and counted all the times I said the word robot, you'd have a whole buttload of the word robot lying in a pile. True story. You can pile words up, right? We'll assume you can. I am not going to question it. I am, however, going to hide behind this guy, let him take care of everything, as usual, until such a time as when it becomes inconvenient to do so. I mean, you guys know the drill by now. If you've stuck with the series this far, you know exactly what I'm shooting for. Oh yeah, I got that new thing at the shop that uh, increases my trap affinity, but that only gives me a 20% chance of disarming that, so I really need maybe more trap affinity. Okay, we got an anvil of chrome. What am I going to stick on there today? What am I not overly worried about losing? Well. Let's just go to our handy dandy pocket dimension and take a look at some of the stuff that I've uh, kept. Let's see. We have this particular. Um, well, that's actually kind of a shitty amulet. But we also have this starry orb. So we'll stick a starry orb on it, and hopefully it'll be better than one of the orbs I already have. And if that's the case, we can replace it. That's why I've been keeping backups, so that we can incrementally improve our items. What do we get? Wrong is pleased! Extra strength and extra... I want to say that's also trap affinity. But, uh... Tra no, it's trap sight radius. Okay. So this is the trap affinity. Duly noted. At any rate, let's see if... This uh, is going to be better for us than any particular other thing. Just taking a look. Mm -hmm. Eight instead of that, then four instead of three, and one region to one region, and whatever this purple thingy is, magic resistance. Um, this doesn't have any magic resistance, but it does have resistance to ethereal damage, and it ups my strength, but it lowers my speed, but this lowers my speed, so you know what, let's just do a quick, uh, quick count here, eh, they're about even, so you know what, I'm going to equip this, the dark orb stays with me, and I'll put that on the next anvil and see how that does. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good plan, all in all, I think. Here's hoping. Probably should have, uh, double-checked the other orb. 
yeah, I'm definitely keeping this orb on because it's got even better stats than both of them. Alright. Slow start. It's alright, we'll pick up some momentum as we go along. Of this, I am certain. I usually do. It's not all stats and... Well, there's another anvil right there. And we'll be able to use that anvil just as soon as... Some of these monsters are gone. Robot, just go, will ya? Thank you. And, of course, this magic dragon's gonna chase my ass to the ends of forever. And it's gonna keep doing that, is it? Alright. Uh, see... How this is going. I just need to, uh, outlast it. Give it the old runaround, let the acid do its job. Acid has worn off. Fortunately, things, uh, they, um, slowed down, so now I can ditch him like that and lead it. And the only reason I'm not stopping to fight that dragon is, as I mentioned earlier, those purple dragons can corrupt your equipment and leave you holding a bunch of crap, which is good for no one. Wow. There were more enemies down there than I expected. Hope they don't, uh, destroy everything. I'll help. There, I helped. I could help with some wands, but, um, you know. Finite resource and all. Though, I am curious, because I don't remember what this wand does. Now I know what that wand does. I believe I will make some more of those as soon as I get a chance. Because that was, uh, pretty badass. All in all, gotta say. I probably need some ridiculously high level to craft that. Let's find out. The Narwand. I need... I need to find a recipe for it first, because I can't just craft it. Okay. I see. I will bear that in mind. But if we pick up another one later, we'll know how to use it to good use. Ooh, a gold golem. I wonder if they'll drop gold. By the way, how come this isn't fixed yet? I don't know the answer to that. I must have, uh, been mistaken when I said that they could be uncorrupted. Or something. Or maybe it's just certain ones. Or maybe I missed an enemy somewhere. It really is one of those things where I don't, um, have all the answers. Probably never will. Wow, something is really wrecking these robots. Is there like a super-powered boss monster somewhere over there, or what? That cold carrot is gunning for me. Gun it back. It's the only way. Maybe it's just because the robot is surrounded by so very many enemies on all sides. I have a solution for that. Not really. But, um, here's what I'm gonna do. And this is kinda crazy, but we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna spray acid everywhere. There. That should, uh, finish up those enemies for me. And it did. Huzzah. Wow, I am really you need more mana. running out of MP fast, having to summon so many robots so quickly. There. I can't imagine what it's going to be like the next time I run into a zoo. I'm going to have to do some fancy footwork, I imagine. I can, I can, I can handle it. I'll make it work. A spelling bee. Well, 
can you spell piss off? Clearly it could. I'm gonna have to go into all of these um, cells to find out what's in them. At some point. I'll have to use my digging ray to do so. Which I can do. Actually, I don't think there's really all that much in the cells. There is some rust, though. Okay, here's a straight line of sight. Come on, digging ray, do your thing. Awesome. Now, robot, you're gonna need to come up here because there is a klepto blobby. Who was, naturally, in jail. As they tend to be. Because they steal shit, you see. That, that's the joke. Hope you like it. Alright, nothing interesting in there. But, the important thing was that we got to find out. I wonder if I can... Yeah, Diagonal Digging Ray did nothing to help me whatsoever. Let's refill some MP. And, you know what? Maybe I'll just uh, blow across the uh, top here and see if that works. You need more mana. I need more mana. The voice told me, so... I have no idea how much this uses. 39. Okay, we got it. Boom. That didn't, uh... That wasn't as helpful as I had hoped. Mostly just made a mess. That's okay, because we can see that none of these other rooms have anything contained within. Roomlets. I sense bad things waiting for me. And there they are. Yeah. Alright. What can I do to help? Probably not a whole lot at this point. I can uh, kick some monsters. That might help some. Maybe. What if I stopped this guy before he gets any closer? That's uh, not the uh, root spell. This is the root spell. Root that guy. Then I can back up, and I don't actually... Uh, know what my plan was here. I'm not entirely sure that I had one. Oh well. We'll wing it. This is, um, one way to wing it, I suppose. Yeah! You're blocked! You can't get in unless you go through my robot. What do you think of that? You don't like that very much, do you? Well, too bad. Because that's the kind of world you're living in now. World of pain! Metallic pain! Alright. Whoops, there's more. Of course there's more. Why would you ever think anything else? Get him. Get him. Get him faster. Walk over there and get robot. You bastard. Critical hits. Critical hits. Okay. Ooh, a cloak of Sagan. That looks uh, fairly high end for some armor. We'll have to check it out here in a second when I clear this room. Uh-oh, that is a boss monster. The Crab King. Crab King is a renowned warrior and brilliant strategist. And he is not aware of my presence. Now he is. Go get him. You can do it. I'll help. Keep you directly in place. Maybe he's not as tough as I thought he was. 
Yeah, you come over here. I'll fight you hand-to-hand, -hand, Cold Carrot. I have a good feeling about this one. Well, there goes all goodwill I had. Holy crap. Ah, Berserker Rage. I just kicked around like nuts. That's cool. I forgot that I had that particular uh, skill set. And we get a Bree. Up you right where you're going. Another mystical graffiti, which I'll probably never use. And some vodka, which I likely will. Um, why don't we toss one of these? Something cast a whirlwind on me. What the hell was it? Is that going to affect my health? Probably. Uh, no, it just um, decreases some other stuff. Which is fine. I can handle that. Maybe. Probably. What I can't bear to see is a plague potato bearing down on me. No, this is a golden doom tuber. So, it's even more insidious than the last. We would assume. Grandpa Mustache? Oh no, not Grandpa Mustache. Alright. Let's pick up a few more things. Like some wine. And the meat wand! Oh, that's the meat wand. I used to be able to do a decent meat wad impression, but I can't anymore for some reason. I have lost the ability from underuse. Because it's not something that's been socially relevant for a while. Unfortunately. It's a terrible shame. A pity. I can splash all these dudes with acid if I get a little closer. Um. Or I could do it now. Right now! Well, I got one of them. That's all I really wanted. Just a little leeway when fighting this guy. Okay. We have, apparently, got some, um... More enemies incoming. And... The... Other things did nothing, so why don't you pop up here and distract my enemies for me? Thanks, appreciate it. Last you. Last you. This skill is doing next to nothing at this point. But it'll do more if I up my skill, so that's alright. Because I intend to keep uppering... Wait, that's the tinkering skill. Never mind, I'm not going to up my tinkering skill at all. I don't believe. Hail Hauberk. Yeah, great. Malachite. Potato. I've been fighting against the potatoes this whole time. What are you talking about? You don't find any edible carrots just sitting around. Despite there being enemy carrots in the game. Okay. My robot made it to live for one more encounter. I'm frankly amazed. Oh, an invisibility potion. Definitely want that. Those are gonna save my life. Alright. Let's hop back up here and continue on with the plan. We mustn't deviate from the plan. Speaking of plans, summoning another one of those guys was a good one. Oh good, we've got another Diggle listening station. Don't mind me, I'm just um, doing a little bit of casting in my spare time. I am a long way off from a level, aren't I? Alright, what's in here? Anything I particularly want? Eh, I'll just take all the... Is that a deep omelet or is that a diggle omelet? I don't know. 
That was the wrong kind of omelet. I'll just eat it now. Because I don't need it cluttering up my inventory. Rather, I want stuff like grated cheese. So I'll get some more cheese. Oh, but I will get this diggle egg because I need those for omelets. If I'm not mistaken. And also fresh fruit, just in case I want to turn it into something better later. Which I believe I will have to do now, so I will do good old inventory management like usual and then I will meet you back here. One moment. Okay, I'm back. I um, got my inventory managed. I decided to kick open this uh, vase. It had 20 things in it of some description. Anyway, time to bust in here and kill the Diggle Commandos. Because that's what I do. Oh, and I also decided to go with the Robe of Sagan. Cloak of Sagan, because... Overall, I feel like the stats are better. But I kept the other thing, in case I want to stick it on an anvil and press my luck later. We'll see. I guess it's just gonna depend on how many anvils I manage to find. Okay. Guess I'm gonna let this little guy out. And then... Let someone else deal with him. So, we've got a fox over here, and this will say Diggle Listening Post or something. Yep. Not a whole lot, just I like to try to full clear these floors if I can. Some people full clear floors in The Binding of Isaac, I full clear floors in... Um... Dungeons of Dreadmore. The difference is that in Dungeons of Dreadmore... Um... What are the words that I'm looking for? The difference is that here, enemies can respawn. Alright, let's root some mofos in place. And then, after that has happened, I am going to toss in a canister of poison. Which will ricochet off these enemies, and who knows where it'll go. But, um, now that that's done, let's lock him in there with the poison. I'm prevented from casting spells. Ooh, anti-magic field. So I don't know which one of those monsters hit me with that, but, um... That could be a problem. But I think we've got enough, uh... Firepower in there to... Like, um... Handle the situation. Get back in there. What else? What is this? Heat exhaust. The wave projector must vent hot steam before you can fire it again. Um, I was under the... What what wave projector? It's a wave projector. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'll have to look that up. Wave projector, wave projector. Do I have a wave projector of some kind? I have an acidical projector? Alchemical toxic canister? Huh, I don't know. I ain't got a clue, man. I ain't gonna worry about it, though. Because this room is just about taken care of. Poison gas plus robot is a pretty good way of dealing with it. And we also found one of these uber chests, and it contains an axe. Boo. Boo urns. Alright, what's this open? It opened this. What's this? It's a kite shield. Go fly a kite shield, said no one ever. Because they're made of wood and metal. And wood and metal are very bad at flying. Unless you have some sort of propulsion behind them. And that's how we get airplanes. Up here is Fishman. Yeah. Great progress, man. What are you? You're an entropic elemental, I see. Yep, 
I guess this uh, heat exhaust is from the uh, wave projector. I don't know why, since the cooldown on it is way... Or, not from the wave projector, from the barometric pulse device. But, um, I don't know why it has to vent around when it already has a several round cooldown. It's a mystery. Maybe those are those little improvements that get made over time. Oh, hi, everybody! Hi, everybody! Um, I'll do the same thing I did last time. Lock him in place. Hit him with some poison. You're not locked into place. My robot is going to be very dead soon. Which is a shame. But I can make another one. As soon as that one's gone, I'll do just exactly that. That way, I'll know where to aim, you see. Holy cow. Everything's going nuts in there. Glad I'm not standing around over there and all that poison and monsters. That certainly would make my day worse. There goes my robot again. Great. There. And my robot's stuck on a wall. As par for the course. There we go. Dwarven landmine. Probably can't. Um. You know what? I'm not even going to try to line that up. I'm just going to go in. Because I could tell. Yep. Thanks, robot. I, I knew that was going to happen. And I thought to avoid it, but then I didn't. Because I'm a jackass. Well, any acid trap you can walk away from, I guess, is a bad one. Because if it were a good one, it would have killed the intruders. Which is me, with acid. Which is bad for me. It's bad for you. Bad for pretty much anyone. That Diggle is anti. Okay, so these uh, Diggle mages are what's casting the anti magic fields. Good to know. But since they're mages, they probably have low hit points and stuff. So if I have to hand to hand one, at least I have the advantage of the unarmed combat skill and some decent uh, wizard armor. Surprise! How did a robot sneak up on you, Fishman? I suspect that you are bad at listening. I don't know what kind of sense of hearing fish have. I'm not a person who studies fish, whatever those are called. Yep, I could buy these and stick them in my loot fisk cube. So I will. The less expensive ones, anyway. You know, not all of them. Because I've got plenty of money. There. That's a good spread. This is why we have this. There was a Loot Fisk Shrine way up north, but um, I'll just wait till I find the next one before I do the Loot Fisk Sacrifice. Looks like I'm not picking up items quite as quickly now, so that's good. It's nice to have a breather in between having my inventory full. Hey, I guess that uh, little elemental down there was one that teleported away from this room, and now the anvil's working again. So, what am I going to stick on the anvil this time? Well, I have a host of items here that I could try. I could try this armor... Or this crown of yellow. What have I got now? That's got a uh, region of two, so I don't think I'm going to beat that, unless it's by pure luck. Let's do the dark orb, because that's something I said I was going to try very recently. And um, I'd like to 
see how it shakes down. If it gets cursed, then I can just sell it and not worry about it anymore. But it didn't uh, get a curse. It got an extra two slashing damage when it's equipped. Hmm. See, this brings us back to the exact same dilemma. Eight, four, one, one, seven, three, five, one. That's a regen. This also has a regen, but this has a trap radius. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna stick with uh, this one, I think. Maybe I'll stick this on another anvil and see if it gets even better and press my luck. Yeah, that could be fun. I'll do that. I'll just keep upping it until it gets cursed. And then... You know... Uh, or until it surpasses until it surpasses the other orb, and either way, that's when I'll stop. It's a plan. You have to have a good plan when you hit Vegas. You have to say, if I lose this amount of money, I'm done, or if I win this amount of money, I'm done. You have to have a definite cap, a definite floor, and a definite ceiling. Is what I'm saying. Otherwise, if go home broke, every time. Not that I've ever been to Vegas. I've only ever gambled on a cruise boat, but I assume the same principles apply. Although, maybe not. I guess cruise ships can afford to be a little uh, more forgiving with their practices, because they're already making a ton of money. I guess. I just don't know. I haven't I haven't put in the research. I don't Robots getting wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. Hi guys. This is what I'm doing to people. Worth it. Don't don't walk into the acid robot. It's not good for you. We've been over this so many times. What did I just get done saying about acid not being good for you? Hey, uh, you know what? This is a good chance to try out this uh, rebreather. All right. I don't know what the two out of three does. But, um, it's not protecting me against the steam. Is it now? I, I don't understand what's going on here at all. Oh, I can just leave it on. Okay. Well, if I'd known that... And all it means is that Every few rounds, it uses one of my, uh, eats one of my mana regions. Okay. Well, now we know how that works. Good. I, I'm, I'm so glad we, we have that figured out now. Wish I'd tried it a little sooner, actually. This is one of those weird-shaped rooms, isn't it? Sure enough, is. Okay. I'm just gonna dig myself a hole instead of trying to find a switch. Hi, hole. Oh. Well. Guess I'll have to dig one this way. And then dig one this you way. Need more mana. I need more mana. That's how much I need. Thank you. And I got some magic glasses that I probably won't ever use. But I have them. They're an option. Go forth. Let's do this again, because it's been working so well so far. I swear it has. I mean, you might not be able to tell, but I can tell.
Wow. That canister of poison gas really expands, but I guess that's why people use them. Their wide range of effect. Area of effect. Or range. Whatever. Um... Why don't I put this on and... Just go walking in like I own the place. It's working, right? It is. It's absolutely working. Neat. Well... Now that that's over... We're formulating strategies for the future. Alright. I can just stand here and wait because the monsters don't see me and won't hear me if I don't move, and then... Right when they least expect it. 800 pounds of copper and aluminum. Fury. Right on they face. What are you, Mr. Fountain? Plaid energy. Hell yeah. I have no idea if I found anything in that barbecue. Oh well. Hey, a clockwork orb! I have one of those in my other hand. So, now this can go on the anvil if I find one. Instead of that other thing, or maybe in spite of the other thing, I'll have to crunch some numbers. But I'll do that when I get around to the area. Because it's going to take me a while to make an informed decision. There we go. Anyway, I'd eventually get the robot onto the dragon. That's a weird sentence. Anything in here I can't live without? Not really. I've got tons of all of that stuff sitting around, I think. More potions of invisibility. I love them. Amber ring. And a Mellow Shrine, which will be very important if I get a side quest where I have to take something to the Mellow Shrine. And some lockpicks. I hope one of these treasure chests teach me how to make a Narwhan. Well, it's a Nature Orb, which is not the same thing as a Narwhan. And there's a Stony Wand. I'm stony, I'm stony. Leave me alone. Powdered aluminum's good. Because that makes the, um. Eh, what you call them? Mana, re mana potions. Alright. I'm gonna leave that stuff here, just clear out this last little door. And then we'll call it. Anything super amazing? No. Okay. Well, oh, I think that's enough for one day. We've covered pretty good ground. We got the southwest quadrant done that time. So maybe uh, two more runs on this floor if everything goes well. But we shall see. Until next time, thanks for watching. This is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.